Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise, praise him. the praise Lord. The Lord. Amen. Amen. It is a glorious day. Yes. It's a wonderful day. Dr. Betty, we are yes. back in back. the studio. Yes, we Glory. are. It's been Hallelujah. A, a long time yes. coming. Praise yes. the Lord to each and every one of you all. Yes. Welcome to our broadcast entitled NEXT. Yes. The acronym yes. stands for New Experiences Exemplifies Today. Today. God has a <laughs> Wanted us to be the examples yes, he has. for yes. today, yes, he has. and we're excited. We miss you all, Amen. Yes. So this is a historical uh, broadcast today yes, because is. this is it our is. first yes. broadcast back in the studio, our first yes. program back in the, back studio. In the studio, Amen. Yes. So to God be the glory for yes. the things He has done, Amen. And we're gonna talk Amen. about some things that are next in our lives, some yes. things that are, have already happened in COVID nineteen. Our topic today is coexisting with COVID-19, coexisting with COVID-19. So before we go into all of that exciting things and events for you all, (laughs) we're going to ask my co-hostess, the beautiful, lovely Dr. Betty Von Evans from Storehouse Ministry here in San Antonio. She's going to lead us to the throne of grace in prayer. Amen. Amen. So let let us pray. Amen. Dr. Betty. Let us bow our heads. God bless you. Boca Mm toe. Good morning. It's just a blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this auspicious occasion to be able to come together and fellowship one to another. Lord, we thank you. We praise you for putting us in the position to be able to speak to your people, to lift up the bow down here, to give words of encouragement. Let us do that, Father, above and beyond everything that we can think or ask. Bless the hearers that they receive it because we need you in an hour like this. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. amen. Dr. Betty, thank yes. you for that beautiful prayer. Yes, and yes. these are some of the things I miss. Yes. You know, yes, once a yes, month, yes, we, yes, we, yes. We, we look forward into coming into we the do. studio. Yes. Uh, talking with one another, yes. getting a chance to engage with yes. one another and yes. share that love that we have yes. as sisters and colleagues in the ministry. Amen. Uh, but we also miss, amen, we want to lift up, you know, the team that, that causes us to go forth and, yes. and shine and yes. give us that clarity yes. where you they all do. can hear us. Yes. So Elder Frank Burns, we yes. love you, amen, Woo! and your team, <laughs> brother uh, 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 Leon, we just love yes. all of you all that have yes. sacrificed and, and chose a career, yes. amen, that we can get this word out. That the word can be published. That that word yes. can be published That's so true. uh yes. dr betty uh the show is called next amen yes. so we've been gone over a year yes. amen yes. uh what are some of the things that's <sighs> next in your life that you want the the world to know yeah well and then we'll go into our topic yeah amen. we're we're blessed the spirit of the lord has experientially blessed us and mm-hmm. uh we just thank god for his goodness and next we are just going <laughs> forward in the things of god uh taking the and uh, in about a week or so, mm. I'll be in the Bahamas taking Ooh, the word to the you. Bahamas. So Go God ahead. is good. All right. God is good. So we just thank God for his goodness. Amen. Mm-hmm. So sound like yeah. uh, in your next, God has increased you. Yes, he has. Amen. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. you know, we just love God how yes, he... Do. Uh, expands mm-hmm. our territory. Yes. You know, even us sitting here today, when we walked into the studio, yes. uh, we saw the <laughs> newness and we saw the blessings awesome. of God. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, you know, Dr. Betty, I, we said we feel important. Yes, we do. And I told him if we sit here at least five more minutes, we gonna be important. Uh, yes. uh, so I think we feeling kind of important yes, right now. Do. The yes, studio is simply beautiful. Awesome. It is beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so, Palacious. so, yes. so, um, um, let's let's go into our topic and yes. uh, and and we can talk about still what's next and what's yes. happening yes. in our lives. But yes. the topic is so prevalent and yes. right now, uh, our topic is con- uh, coexisting with COVID nineteen. Yes. Coexisting with yes. COVID nineteen. Uh, living with COVID nineteen. Yes. Mm-hmm. COVID nineteen is not gone. Yes. Amen. Uh, so we want everyone to still be aware that yes. this horrific 
disease, mm -hmm. <laughs> plague mm -hmm. is still on the face of still the earth. Raging. And the scripture, mm -hmm. Dr. Bay, that God gave me is yes. John 10 and 10. Yes. And it says, the thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. The thief cometh to steal, kill, yes. and destroy. But, yes. but the Lord our God Almighty has has, oh, has, has given us life yes. and life more abundantly. More abundantly. So yes. we want to talk about that coexisting with COVID-19 yes. today, yes. living with COVID-19 yes. today. Uh, my experience has been, yes. Dr. Betty, I really believe that yes. COVID-19 was here in 2018. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Because yes. remember, yes. it was not even revealed and recognized until, until what, right. 2020? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, when you deal with a lot of people such as yes. Dr. Betty and I do on a daily basis, whether yes. it's in the church or uh, on the streets in our communities, yes. amen. Um, yes. We pray for a lot of individuals that just have, um, I guess, compromised yes. immune yes. systems. That's true. Very and true. so for those individuals and those families that lost uh, their loved ones in 2018, 2019, before COVID-19 was even named yeah, and identified, right. That's good. That's again, good. we lift you up, number one. Yes. Yes. And the reason why I say COVID-19 was here in 2018 uh, was because a lot of people start having greater illnesses yeah. and issues, and respiratory, respiratory issues. issues. And I true. saw that yes. Yes. Uh, the hospitals were being flooded even then. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, yes. A lot of people with cancer, life was shortened. Um, yeah. before COVID-19 was yes. even identified. And yeah. I know that to be fact. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. So now that we know that COVID-19 is here and we are living with it, we're yes. coexisting with it, we yes. understand it's not going anywhere until God say so. Exactly. So, <laughs> Dr. Betty, I guess I would say uh, how how has it affected the United States. Mm -hmm. the, how yeah. has it affected the United States? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have the vaccine uh, now, and I thank God for all those that have joined forces to make sure that everyone is vaccinated, mm -hmm. but there are still so many that have not been, and it is a choice. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had children where they couldn't go to school. That's true. We're living with it. Yes. We had children that were graduating, did not have the regular graduation or the quote unquote normal graduation. Or traditional. Yes. Traditional graduation. Mm -hmm. True. Um, we had a lot of people fail classes. They did. A lot they of did. people yes. lost jobs. Okay. Yes. A lot of people's life businesses mm -hmm. no longer exist and exactly. may never come recover back. or come yeah. back. That's true. So we're coexisting with this horrific disease. Yes. Um, uh, the churches were closed. Yes. <laughs> the churches were closed, hear me. Yeah. Our governor, our mayor asked us to close our, our churches and we did. Yes, we did. We did that in obedience and we did that uh, showing unification mm -hmm. as a body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so I shut down April 1st mm -hmm. of last year. Mm -hmm. And then God spoke to me at the end of July and he said, Rosa, I want you to open. Mm -hmm. He said, open doors, mm -hmm. is what he told me. Yes, yes. He said, I'll open a door that no man can close That's and it. I'll shut a, shut a door that no man can open. That's the word, yes. And so that first Sunday of August, Greater Faith Institutional Church is mm -hmm. similar to the World's Ministry, mm -hmm. we open again. Mm -hmm. And to God be the glory, we've yes. had no cases of right, COVID. Right, we've had right. no sicknesses. Mm -hmm. uh, we practice social distancing. What I've done is um, however individuals come to church, if they ride together in that vehicle, mm -hmm. so Same. those yeah. families sit together. Right. This that is this is called sense. coexisting yeah, with, with COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing things to continue to keep, keep each and every one of us safe. Um, when the churches were closed down, Dr. Betty, I, I said, Lord, I said, you know, before COVID, you had people that didn't come to church and, and you had true. people that did come to church right. and you had people that really needed God and needed that, 
that intimacy, that That's that true. presence. Yeah. They needed to speak to their pastors. They That's needed true. that socialization mm -hmm. with their co-labors and mm -hmm. uh, uh, members in the church. But yet we had to close down through yes. obedience. Yes. And I said, Lord, you have to help me to help. So we're talking about coexisting with COVID. Mm -hmm. So as a pastor, I had to change everything about what mm -hmm. I did. Yes. I had the pastor true. totally different. Exactly. You know, uh, we were already on social media, but we had to, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes we just had to do tapes by ourselves. Yes. Uh, we, we didn't have the eight man corner. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's um, true. That's uh, uh, just uh, some churches didn't have tithes and offerings coming in, right. but I can tell you, God is a keeper. So yes, financially yeah. we were still stable. Yes. So, uh, in, 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 on that line, Dr. Betty, any, anything of coexisting with COVID-19, yes. how has it affected you or your church or your family? And what do you want the world to know? Because it's not over. No, it's not. Uh, COVID-19 uh, with Storehouse, and, and we are on social media, uh, have been. But coexisting with uh, COVID, to be quite honest, has mm -hmm. not affected us that much. Mm -hmm. uh, we did close, as mm -hmm. you forestated. In obedience. In obedience with the, uh, with the governor and the mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately when they released and said smaller groups or what have you, we mm -hmm. went back. I think we were back in May or oh, June. Awesome. Um, and we have been there. We was out for like what, two months, I think, and that was it. Mm -hmm. And I must admit, our giving went up. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's what giving went up. Mm -hmm. um, and God has blessed us. Um, so my Wednesday nights, I start doing on Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. And my average of listening to me is two to three hundred. Mm -hmm. Would I have had probably two or three hundred sitting in church on a Wednesday night? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I've had that in times prior, but not when the, the ministry went up under uh, uh, another level. So to be honest with you, I believe the word of God. He mm -hmm. said all things mm -hmm. work together for the good mm -hmm. to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Romans so, 8. Uh, so it has, it has blessed. Uh, we pray for people that have been uh, lost during this time, but I believe that to everything, God has a reason. Mm -hmm. And I believe that a lot of ministries, uh, the government, our political arena was all in total chaos. Mm -hmm. God shut it down. Mm -hmm. This was not, this was not a move of Satan. He does not have that type of power. All right. This was God mm -hmm. because it is time for people to stop playing church. It's time to get real. Mm -hmm. And now we need to rethink. We are living in tumultuous times mm -hmm. and God wants us to stop and think. Mm -hmm. And it's somehow it's just hard for people to think, mm -hmm. but that's why God gave us a brain. He gave us a mind uh, to think. And now we are thinking about where we're going and mm -hmm. what we're doing. We're mm -hmm. not moving haphazardly into anything. Mm -hmm. We're going into it with a precognition, uh, a, a predestination in mind, a perpetuity. And that's good. Mm -hmm because God wants us to think. He said that my people are perished for the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. I often tell people the greatest sin is not homosexuality, <laughs> not any of these things. The greatest sin is ignorance. Mm, lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. He mm -hmm. said my people are perished for the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So we need knowledge. Mm -hmm. We need wisdom. We need, to, we need to take in consideration the time. If you're not a daughter or son of Issachar, you are offbeat left out. Mm -hmm. The children of Issachar knew the time. So mm -hmm. we got to be cognizant of the time. So living with COVID-19 is just to prep you to where God has taken us. Awesome, awesome. And as you heard Dr. Beatty say, you know, we are coexisting with COVID-19. And all the stories have not all been bad because there no. has been some positive that have yes. come out with co mm -hmm. existing with COVID-19. There have been some uh, blessings, many, many um, coexisting. Uh, and the main thing is we know now that the world has changed. Yes. We know now that the world has changed and the old way of living and doing things uh, is over. Yes. And so uh, one thing about God, God orders our steps and he orders our steps in his word. Mm. He said that he will be a uh, lamp into our feet and that's a light it. into our All path. Right, so no matter what sickness or disease shows up, um, God will 
protect us and keep us. Yes, it will. A lot of people had strokes during yes. this time, yes. this time of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. I have a brother that had a stroke. Okay. One of my best girlfriends had a stroke. Okay. But these are, these are things where this disease has attacked or attached themselves to their respiratory system. That's true. Mm -hmm. And it causes a lack of blood flow. Mm -hmm. So anytime there's a lack of blood flow or oxygen, something dies and something mm -hmm. is inadequate. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so we, we only calling these things out because yes. we want, we want you to be aware That's what COVID-19, yes. uh, how destructive it really is. Mm -hmm. Now we're not saying that it's powerful because mm -hmm. we understand it couldn't even exist without God. Mm -hmm. And in the book of Matthew, it says that God is the healer of all manner and all, uh, all manner of sickness. And he's the healer of all manner of diseases. Mm -hmm. And this is just another disease. Mm -hmm. Um, when we trust God to, to carry us or to teach us or to show us the way, it doesn't matter what comes around us. We yes. in this world, but we're not of this world. Yes. Um, we are more cautious today. Our eyes are open. That's the point. We yes. are seeking yes. him in yes. a greater way. We should. Um, but we just thank God in spite of it all. Yeah. No matter what comes into this earth or this, this, this earthly realm, we still praise God. Yes. But what we are asking each and every one of you all to do, our listeners today, is that you have a relationship with God. If you don't have one, if you don't know someone to fellowship with, um, you know, Dr. Betty has an awesome ministry. I have awesome ministry. Amen. Uh, Amen. There's ministries on television. But see God's face that you mm -hmm. get into a place of worship. Mm -hmm. Because now is the time, because we are in perilous times, and time is winding up, and yes. time is winding down. And God, he said, I'm seeking the true worshipers, and they that worship me must worship me in spirit and truth. So we start off with that John 10 and 10, the thief come to kill, steal, and destroy. But Since, let me, let me yeah, say you can this. jump in. Let me say this. One of the things, the reason, one of the reasons why the Lord sent COVID-19, oh. allowed it to come through, is because he wanted to separate the wheat from the chaff. Uh -huh, I was going See, there. some people wanted, some people didn't want to come to church anyway. Correct. So God gave you a legal reason to uh -huh, stay home. To stay home. Because he said in the last days, he said the way of the wicked, there would be many. Mm -hmm. But the way of the righteous, there would be a traveler every now and then. Mm -hmm. So this is decision-making time. Mm -hmm. To all of you that are listening to me, Christ must be center mm -hmm. to your life. It can't be anything else. God has given you a legal reason to stay home. Mm -hmm. That meant that those that really come out to the house of the Lord, those are the ones that really love the Lord, that is seeking him, as she said, in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? They know the word of, of what is it, uh, Hebrews 10 and 25, mm -hmm. fail not the assembling of yourselves mm -hmm. together, even the more so as you see that day approaching. So they will not allow anything to stop them from fellowshipping in the house of God. But if I were you, mm -hmm. I would think very seriously about finding a house mm -hmm. where the spirit Remember of the that. Lord is, mm -hmm. where you can be healed, delivered, and set free. And as I often say, healing is the children's bread. Your body belongs to Christ, and God wants you healed. He wants you delivered, and he wants you set free. COVID-19 is like everything else. Mm -hmm. It's under the blood. Mm -hmm. It's under the power of God. You just have to stand it. You must walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Amen. And that's what we are we are uh, giving to you all today. Amen. Uh, having that relationship, that personal relationship. Yes, we are coexisting with COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. but why not live with Christ and live for Christ? That's it. Sis. So COVID nineteen is here, mm -hmm. and it'll be here until God changes some things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even for greater faith, Doctor Betty, we. Um, when we shut down, uh, like I said, I had to pastor a different way. That's right. But God gave me the strength. God gave me the knowledge. God gave me the tools mm -hmm. to even pastor in that manner. He did. And he did. He did uh, let the wheat and tear uh, mm -hmm. uh, grow together. And he did he, do the separating. He Amen. did do that. He, did. Yes. Uh, he also gave us clergy. Mm -hmm. He gave us mm -hmm. a little rest. Yes. 
you know, because we uh. we were able we were able to minister from any point of contact in this earth. That's the we point. can be in yeah. any city. I, I was sometime on a little vacation. Yes, yes, yes. yes, <laughs> um, yes, yes. I video from my car, yes. but that just tells me that the gospel will find you. Mm. You can you can experience this gospel anywhere at anywhere. any time. Anywhere. So that's some of the positive things that existing or coexisting with COVID nineteen mm-hmm. brought to us, mm-hmm. and I thank God for that. Mm-hmm. But but I still want you to hear the the uh, John ten and ten that the enemy, the thief, comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Story. That's a powerful passage yes, right it there. Is. That's yes. powerful yes, it is. Yes. because Dr. Ben, there's so many people that that don't understand that it is a spirit that yes. walking about. Yes, it is. As a roaring lion, seeking, seeking whom he may devour. That is true. We and if you don't understand that it's a, a evil spirit uh, that's causing. Uh, dissension yes. among the brethren. That's it. You will, yes. you mm. yourself would help the enemy destroy you, your family, your purpose, everything that God have uh, 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 set for you. That's it. Yes, that's it. And so that's why we we are bringing to you today, coexisting with COVID nineteen. We have to live in this world. Mm-hmm. We must. And we're going to have all types of enemies. Yes. And the Bible says every time I try to do good, evil, evil. is always present. Always present. So we're not trying to get rid of the evil. <laughs> what we're trying to do is allow you to have a right relationship with your God. And guess what? Once you have that relationship, he said you now have power. Yes. You have yes. power to speak to the unclean spirits. And you won't hurt your sister or your brother. That's it. So that's what we are today. So yeah. coexisting with COVID-19 is what we're talking about. Now, one other passage, Naaman. Mm-hmm. Naaman was a captain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Naaman was afflicted yes, with was. disease. Yes, he was. Because we're talking about diseases yes. today. Yes. And it's all type mm-hmm. of disease. You might mm-hmm. have a headache, high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, cancer, whatever you diagnose with. These are Diseases. This is a leper. Yes, right. And they're lepers. Yes, yes. And right. lepers were known to be outcasts. Yes, they were. Now, mm-hmm. you know, how long are you just gonna be mm-hmm. an outcast? <laughs> how funny. long are you gonna just mm-hmm. keep your eyes closed and allow these diseases to keep you from your inheritance and from mm-hmm. your victory? Mm-hmm. So, COVID nineteen, we existing with it. We're coexisting mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. But we have to get real with you all. Mm -hmm. We have to bring it to your front door. We have to bring it home so you can actually see Mm -hmm. that it's not your sister or your brother, but it is a disease. It is Mm -hmm. a sickness. It Mm -hmm. is a Mm COVID-19. And these are symptoms unto God because God is major. And he, that's, that's a time when these type of things show up that he shows up in a mighty way. But all he is looking for is the praises of his people. He said, I inhabit the praises of my people. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for somebody to cry out. I'm looking for somebody to love me. I'm looking for somebody to stand up. Now watch this. Mm-hmm. Now, after the 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 name is people had went out and, and brought some folks in into captivity, mm-hmm. but in that bunch yes. of captivity was a little girl. Yes, it was. Yeah. And she was placed in mm-hmm. Naaman's home. Yes, she was. And spoke with Naaman's wife and said, I don't mean to be disrespectful, mm-hmm. but you know what? If if you if you would allow me to speak. I have your husband's healing in my mouth. Mm. So today we, we're looking mm. for some people mm. that will <laughs> that have a healing walk, Doctor Betty. <laughs> yes. Not walking into your healing, yes. but have yes. a healing walk. What is a healing walk? That means you have a certain strut, mm-hmm. you have a certain style. Yes. Sometimes you haven't seen people in a long time, mm-hmm. and you look at them, and you say, you know what? I know that so and so by their walk. Mm-hmm. That's true. Okay. That's true. So if you have a healing walk, mm-hmm. when you're walking mm-hmm. like Paul, he mm-hmm. had handkerchiefs. And the Bible says he walked by the people mm-hmm. and there was healing. Mm-hmm. We're looking for God to do everything mm-hmm. as we coexist with COVID-19. Mm-hmm. And he said, I've given you the tools mm-hmm. to heal. Mm-hmm. He said, I've given you a healing walk. Yes. I've anointed you to walk. Yes, yes. Healing is the children's bread. Healing <laughs> is what God wants. Come on. That, that's, that's why God came to us in the beginning and said, I have not given you the spirit of fear, mm. but of love, power, and of a sound mind. It's all under one banner and Mm -hmm. that is believing Christ and Christ becoming central to your life Uh then whether it's Mm COVID-19 whether it's high blood pressure low blood pressure or no blood pressure Mm -hmm. Jesus is the healer he's the healer Mm -hmm. and whatever you whatever it is see the enemy defeats us many times by fear Uh like you said he Mm -hmm. comes to kill Mm -hmm. steal and destroy Mm -hmm. those are threefold enemy Mm -hmm. the world the flesh and the devil that's what he comes to do 
He comes to take away what God has ordained oh, you God. to have. It is God's will for you to be healed. I'm going to say that again because I've been on that. It is God's will for you to be healed. It is not God's will for you to be sick. It is not God's will for you to be afflicted. Mm. Healing is the children's bread. That's what mm. Jesus told the Syphonician woman. Healing is the children's bread. And you don't even need the whole loaf. All you need is a crumb. Mm. I know people with storehouse ministry, we do more with a crumb than most people do with the whole loaf. Mm because we're gifted that way. I know her ministry. I know mm. the dynamics of her ministry. Thank I you. know the dynamics of this woman. Mm. She do more with a crumb than many churches and many well-known evangelists, <laughs> pastors and teachers that I could call, but I will not. <laughs> she does more for this city and more for people than what they do with all of their resources. So it is not in that Listen to me. The word is Jesus. Mm. The word is the Lord. The word is faith and believing God. You, it is God's will for you to be healed today. It's God's will for you to be delivered and set free mm. and to be used by him. This is the greatest hour of evangelism. Amen. And when you know that God has come, Jesus has come to give us that life more abundantly. That's the rest of that passage in and John 10 and 10. It. That's, that's the rest it. of it. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. we have to take the whole mm -hmm. or eat the whole enchilada. Mm -hmm. Now, all, he, Harvey. All, all of it, <laughs> all of it. And so, so here we, here we have Naaman and he, he's great. He yes. has, he has resources. He has yes. money. Mm -hmm. He has authority and power, but he was not. He didn't have a healing walk. No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. See, God gave it to him, but he didn't know he had a healing That's walk. Right. God, every time you walk, this I, I want you to hear this. Every time you take a step, don't mm. you know God is anointing your healing? Look He's anointing God. your walk. Wow. He's anointing us that. that we may walk by those that are less fortunate and they may receive their healing. That's true. He's anointed us that we may stand in the gap for those that don't know who they are yet. Yes. So here, name is healing was in the mouth of a little girl. And she spoke to the wife and said, well, God told me that name it. He just needs to go to the river Jordan and dip seven times. Mm. And that's still in obedience. Yes. He still had to walk he there had to walk and he faith. had to walk there. <laughs> Nobody could walk for yes. him yes. because when you have a healing walk, there's justice. Yes. When you have a healing walk, there's humility. When mm. you have a healing walk, there's righteousness. When you have a healing walk, there's peace. Yes. So we are going to coexist. Mm. Yes. With COVID-19. Yes. yes. But Dr. Betty, we yes. have a healing walk. We have a We have walk. a strut. Yes. I know yes. when I was in high school, folks said, that's Rosa Mo. <laughs> we know her walk. <laughs> I know that's right. We know her walk. Dr. Betty have a walk now. <laughs> Dr. Betty, we, I, I want you to close this out in prayer, but we're coming back with part two. Yes. Dr. Betty, final Praise words Lord. in prayer. Healing walk. This is a, a <laughs> great woman of God. Listen to me. God is getting the word to you today. You are chosen by God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the healing of this, this nation, the healing of these people. Yes, yes. And we thank you, God, that you are giving them everything they stand in need of in this hour. In Jesus' name. We love you. Ain't a thing you could do about it. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Smile. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. There is power <laughs> in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Woo! To break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power Come on. in the name of Jesus. Come on, you declare it.